All right, the Hongji SDG temple. Admittedly, I did not know about this temple before my visit. It was a meeting point for me. It turned out to be quite pleasant, architecturally very interesting. Uh, <clears throat> Madly would be a fair <laughs> descriptor. But the, hmm, it is a bit chimeric. Yes, I think that might be fair. In the most lovely of ways. So the gentleman responsible for the construction of the building and the interior uh, was well traveled and uh, incorporated a number of different uh, uh, motifs into this building and, and the interior uh, uh, decor. So, very unusual for the one who says every temple in Tokyo looks the same. Well, <laughs> for starters, to the untrained eye, but <laughs> for the untrained eye, uh, visit this temple and I, I assure you, you will not be able to make such a claim. <laughs> so worth checking out, the history is a bit interesting. I'm not so confident to speak to it, but uh, uh, briefly from what I understand, it, uh, it was um, a, a bit schismatic, if you will. Uh, and um, uh, there is a pipe organ <laughs> inside the temple, uh, which I'm not sure one will find anywhere else in Japan, Japanese temples, pipe organ. <laughs> <laughs> and from what I understand, there are live performances, which I did not have the pleasure of attending, live performances, uh, which uh, would be enjoyable, the acoustics would certainly be interesting in, in the large hall. But a great meeting spot, nice edge courtyard, and very open to the public. And if you have the opportunity to visit with someone who knows the architecture and so forth of the temple, I would strongly encourage that visit as well. Yeah, if you're in the Skiji area, why not swing by, walk inside? And probably don't take pictures inside, you know, at least without asking for permission. Enjoy!